How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by providence impoverished and squalor turn up to be a hero and a scholar? Ten dollar, found a father without a father, got a lot farther by working a lot harder, by being a lot smarter, by being a self-starter by 14. They placed him in charge of a trading charter, and every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away across the waves, he struggled and kept his guard up. Inside, he was longing for something to be a part of. The brother was ready to beg, steal, borrow, and barter. Then a hurricane came, and devastation reigned. The man saw his future drip, dripping down the drain. But a pencil to his temple connected it to his brain. Then he wrote his first refrain, a testament to his pain. Then the word got around. They said, this kid is insane, man. Took up a collection just to send him to the mainland. Get your education. Don't forget from which you came. And the world's going to know your name. What's your name, man? When he was ten, his father stayed full of it. Dead red and two years later, see Alex and his mother bed with a last day. Sitting in their own sick, the scent thick. Alex got better, but his mother went quick. Moving with the cousin, the cousin committed suicide. Left him with nothing but ruined pride. Something new inside a boy saying, Alex, you gotta fend for yourself. Started retreating and reading every treatise on the shelf. They would have been left and left to do for some unless the studio would have been dead or destitute without a cent of restitution. Started working, looking for his late mother's landlord, trading sugar cane and rum for all the things he can't afford. Planning for every book he can get his hands on. Planning for the future. See him now as he stands on the bow of a ship headed for the new land. In New York, you can be a new man. 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 New York. Alexander Hamilton, we are waiting in the wings for you. You join us right now together and you make your time. Oh, Alexander Hamilton, when America sings for you, will they know what you overcame? Will they know you rewrote the game? The world will Another immigrant coming up from the bottom. His enemies destroyed his rep. America forgot him. Me, I fought for him. Me, I fight for him. Me, I trusted him. Me, I love him. And me, I'm the damn fool that shot him. Shot him, shot him. Do things I haven't done? Just you wait. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. Seventeen seventy six. New York City. Well, that depends who's asking. Oh, sure. I'm getting nervous. You punched the bursar. It was my parents' dying wish before they passed. Can I buy you a drink? 
While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. Smile more. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. You can't be serious. You want to get ahead. Yes. Fools surround their mouths off wind up there. And you yo, 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 what time is it? Showtime. Like I said. Showtime, showtime, what? I'm John Lawrence in the place to be. I'm two pints of Sam Adams, but I'm working on three. Those red coats don't want it with me, cause I will pop chicken pop these cops till I'm free. We, we want to me, Jean Mattel Lafayette. The Lancelot of the revolutionary set. I came from a spa just to say bonsoir to the king Cassatoire, who's the best? C'est moi. Bra, bra, I'm Hercules Mulligan up in the love and it gets a hard on the sect. I'm a gang. Gonna walk a post to doxies. Of course, it's hard to have in the course over four sets of corsets. No more sex, pour me another bruise, huh? Let's go a couple more to the revolution. Let's hate the prodigy in Princeton College. Aaron Birch, give us a verse, drop some knowledge. Good luck with that, you're taking a stand. You spit, I'm gonna sit, we'll see where we land. Yo, the end of mission, none of it. What do you stall for? <laughs> who are you, who are you, who are you? Oh, who is this kid, what's he gonna do? And I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And I'm not throwing away my shot. 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 I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And I'm not throwing away my shot. It's time to take a shot. I dream of life without the monarchy. The only rest in France will lead to anarchy. Anarchy? How you say? How you say anarchy? When I fight, I make the other side panicky with my shot. Yo, I'm a tailor's apprentice, and I got your local heads and local parentis. I'm joining the rebellion, cause I know it's my chance to socially advance. Instead of sewing some pants, I gotta take a shot. And yo, we'll never be truly free until those in bondage have the same rights as you and me. You and I do or die. Watching me stallion as a stallion with the first black battalion. I'ma take a shot. Jesus, lower your voices. I mean, you got a trouble and you double your choices. I'm with you, but the situation is fraught. Got to be carefully talked. If you talk, you're going to get shot.
Rise up when you're living on your knees, you rise up. Tell your father that he's got to rise up. Tell your sister that she's got to rise up. One of these colonies going 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 to rise up. Rise up. Like 
summer in the city, someone in a rush, next to someone looking pretty. Excuse me, miss, I know what's not funny, but your perfume smells like your daddy's got money. Still in the city, in the fancy hills. You search for an urgent who can give you ideas? Sir, you disgust me. Ah, oh, so you can disgust me. I'm a trust fund, baby, you can trust me. I'm a mean the common sense by Thomas Paine. So I'm insane and I'm intense and I'm insane. You want a revolution, I want a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We hope this truth to be self-evident, then all men are created equal. And when I'm just Thomas Jefferson, we look at Pelham to get two women in the sequel. What? Look around, look around, look at me how to be alive right now. Look around, look around, look at me how to be alive right now. History is happening in that Battalion to remind you of my love. La da 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 da. 
right at midnight, Manhattan in the distance. I could not be everywhere at once, people. I'm in dire need of assistance. Your Excellency, sir, who are you? Aaron Burr, sir. Permission to state my case, as you were, sir. I was captain under General Montgomery until he caught a bullet in the neck in Quebec, and, well, in summary. But then I could have been of assistance. I am I how you keep firing on the British from a distance. I have some questions, a couple of suggestions. I'll fight instead of fleeing west. Yes, well. Hamilton, come in. Have you met Burr? Yes, sir. We keep meeting. I was saying, play out. Sir, the door on your way out. On the contrary, I brought you here because our odds are beyond scary. And your reputation precedes you, but I have to laugh. Well, Arlington, how come no one will keep you on the staff? You're a young man with great renown. I know you stole British cans when you were still downtown. The thing you green and Henry Knox wanted to fire you. What do you do? Then why are you upset? You're right, you want to fight. I was just like, it's like you when I was young. Head full of fantasies of dying like a martyr. Dying is easy, young man. Living is hard. I'm being honest. I'm going to the third of what our Congress has promised. I need a drum keg about to explode. I need someone like you to lighten the load. Wait, ma. Shut. I am not throwing away ma. Shut. You know, I'm just letting the country. I'm young, slabby, and hungry. I am not throwing away my shot. Son, we're out gun, out man. Out numbered our plan. Harry's Hamilton right on sight, but Hamilton still wants to fight, not right? Now Hamilton's skill with the quill is undeniable, but what do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies. There are so many to the flower, ladies. Looks of proximity to power, ladies. They delighted in the strategy him. Martha Washington named the feral tomcat after him. That's true. 1780, a winter's ball, and the Skylar sisters are the envy of all. Yo, if you can marry a sister, you're rich, son. I'm about to 
change your life. Miss Tyler. My sister. Thank you for your service. I'll leave you to it. One week later, I'm writing a letter nightly. Now my life gets better, every letter that you write me. Laughing at the sister because she wants to form a hell. I'm just saying, if you really love me, you would share. Ha! Two weeks later, in the living room, stress. Coming from the main room, you know, she wrote a dress. Dying inside as you whine and dying. I'm dying, 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 I'm dying
see you, right? The conversation lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes. Everything was ending two and a little green minutes, a dream and it's a bit of a dance. It's a bit of a fast train, a bit of a sand. It's a bit of a flex, but I'm a good little chain. Hey, it's another stand. Did you see his answer? His hands are so deficient. You look just scared. He's pitiless. He's flying by the seat of his hands. Handsome boy doesn't know it. Peach fuzz and he can't even grow it. I'm the reason for the famous place and it happens in my sister's face and she is helpless and I know. Change your life. I'm the one in the street, and they drop is the Mary Rich. My mother has no son, so I'm the one who has the social crime for. And the oldest, and the weakest, and the gossip in New York City is, and the city is, and Alexander is pretty less. Oh, it doesn't mean I want to make me less. Elizabeth Skyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. My sister. You have to be cause I'm a silly sister and never be to satisfy They have to be naive to set that aside Do that is why I introduced him to a lie I know that's his right My story in jeopardy He was right and you will never be satisfied Thank you for all your service I'll leave you to it I know my sister like I know my own mind They will never find me again, Alexander. Smile more. See you on the other side of the war. I 
See you on the other side of the war. Theodosia writes me a letter every day. I'm keeping a bed warm while her husband is away. He's on the British side in Georgia, trying to keep the colonies in line. But he can have all the Georgia, Theodosia, she's in mind. That is a discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes, and we keep loving anyway. We laugh and we cry and we break and make a mistake. And if there's a reason, I'm by your side with so many a try. I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. My grandfather was a fire and brimstone preacher. We had a splinter that the harmonies and hymns won't teach her. My brother was a genius. My father commanded respect. When they died, they left no instructions, just a legacy to protect. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes, it takes, it takes, and we can live in any way. We rise and fall, we break, make mistakes, and if there's a reason I'm still alive when everyone I love is died, I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. The one thing in life I can control. I'm an inimitable, I'm an original. I'm not falling behind or running away. I'm not standing still, I am lying in wait. Hamilton faces an endless uphill climb. He has something to prove, he has nothing left to lose. Hamilton's pace is relentless, he wastes no time. What is it like in his shoes? Hamilton doesn't hesitate, he exhibits no restraint. He takes and he takes and he takes, and he keeps winning anyway. He changes the game, plays and he raises the stakes. And if there's a reason, he seems to thrive when everyone out of nine is on them, and I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Life doesn't discriminate between the cities and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. We rise and we fall. There's a reason I'm dealing with that and so many have died. Then I'm willing to Apprenticeship. I ask for French aid, I point my French apprenticeship. I can work with Hamilton, we write essays against slavery, and every day's a test of our camaraderie and bravery. Retreat, 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 retreat
tag between. What are you doing, Lee? Get back on your feet, but there's so many. I'm sorry, is this not just speed? Hamilton, can Lafayette take the lead? I'm dying the hundred degree heat as we snatch a stalemate from the jaws of defeat. Jones and will not be left alone through his devices. Indecisive from crisis to crisis. The best thing he can do for the revolution is turn back and go to bed and play back and back and burn it. Do a thing, history will prove me wrong. We have a war to fight, let's move along. Words from Lee, someone ought to hold him to it. Then I'll do it. You're the best friend I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the Ten Dual Commandments. It's the Ten Dual Commandments. Number one, the challenge demands satisfaction. If they apologize, no need for further action. Number two, they won't be a friend. That's your second. Number three, face to face. Negotiate a peace. This is commonplace, especially between recruits. Most disputes die and no one shoots. Number four, you don't make a peace. That's all right. Time to get some pistols and a doctor on sight. You have him turned around so he can have deniability. Do it before the sun is in the sky. Pick a place to die when it's high and dry. Number six. Seven. Get that your sins ready for the moment of a drill. Then when you finally face your opponent. The last chance to negotiate. Send in your second. See if they can set the record straight. Alexander. We both duels are dumb and immature, sir. With his life? We both know that's absurd, sir. How many men died because Lee was inexperienced and Okay, so we're doing this. Number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten, please, is fire. <coughs> you shot him in the side. Yes, he is. I'm satisfied. You don't got a clear field. Here comes a general. This should be fun. What is the meaning of this? Mr. Bird, get a medic for the general. Yes, sir. Lee, you will never agree with me, but believe me, these men do not speak for me. Thank you for your service. Hamilton. Meet me inside. Son, the board is far enough without infighting. Sound you aggravate our allies to the south. Son, want to atone? I am not a maiden in danger of defending out of your own man. Well, I can I can take it. No. Or oh, you could die, and we need you alive. We might need you alive, son. I need you alive. Go home, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Go home.
look at where you started. The fact that you're alive is a miracle. Just stay alive. That would be enough. And if you're a child, just a fraction of your smile, reflections of your mind. Look out, world. That would be enough. And don't pretend to know. The challenges you're facing, the world's keep erasing and creating when you're mine. But I'm not afraid. I know who I marry. So long as you're alive at the end of the day, that would be enough. We don't need a legacy. We don't need money. Let me get your peace of mind. Let me let me inside your heart. Oh, let me be a part of the narrative. And serve me the right someday. Let this moment be the first chapter. Where you begin to stay. There's a ragtag volunteer army in need of a shower somehow to feed a global superpower. How do we emerge victorious from the quagmire? Leave the battlefield, leaving Betsy Ross's flag higher? Yeah, turns out we have a secret weapon, an immigrant. You know in love who's unafraid to step in. He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchmen. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman. I'm taking this horse by the reins, making red coats rid of the blood stains. And I'm never gonna stop until I make him drop and burn him up and scatter the remains. Uh, watch me engage in him, escape from that little region on mine. I go to France for more funds. I come back with more guns and ships. And so the balance shifts. We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate their gifts. We can end this war at Yorktown, cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there is someone else we meet. I know Hamilton, so we know what to do with a trench and to do with a ruin of French. I mean, Hamilton, so you're gonna have to use them eventually. What's he gonna do on the bench? I mean, no one has more resilience. Oh, imagine my practical, technical brilliance. Hamilton, you wanna fight for your land back? Hamilton, I mean, the right hand man back. Yeah. You get a real hand man back. You know you're gonna get your right hand man back. I mean, you gotta put some thumb to the letter, but the sooner the better to get your right hand man back. Alexander Hamilton. Troops are waiting in the field for you. If you join us right now together, we can turn the Oh, Alexander Hamilton. I have soldiers who will yield for you. If we manage to get this right, we'll soon let our early life the world. We'll never be the same, Alexander. I was younger than you are now. When I was given my first command, I led my men straight into a massacre. I witnessed the death's first hand. I made every mistake and felt the shame rise in me. And even now I lie awake, only history has its eyes on me. has its eyes on me. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known when I was young and flew into glory. 
You have no control who lives, who dies, who tells your story. I know that we can win. I know that greatness lies in you. But remember from here on in, history has its eyes on you. History has its eyes on you. The Battle of Yorktown, 1781. Monsieur Hamilton, if you land where you belong, we finally have a new. Immigrants, we get the job done. So what happens? Well, I go back to France and be feeling to my people if I get the chance. Can we meet your man? Can we meet again? Let's go. I'm not throwing away my shot. To the world turns upside down. We'll never be free until we in slavery. You Chesapeake Bay. That's right. Look at me, Never, never mind. This government, I take the measurements of a mission and never smuggle it. To the mirror, mirror, mirror. I'm running in the sons of liberty and I'm loving it. See, that's what happens when you're up against the rough end. Yeah, somebody sit down, somebody's gotta shovel it. Hercules Mulligan, I need no introduction. When you knock me down, I'll get the fuck back up again. We lower our guns as he frantically frees a white handkerchief. But just like that, it's over. We tend to our wounded, we count our dead. Like my soldiers wonder, like, if this really means freedom? And with Spain, I'm so blue. 
thought that we had an arrangement when you went away. You are mine to subdue. But even despite our estrangement, I've got a small query for you. What comes next? Do we breed? Do you know how hard it is to leave? You're on your own. Awesome, wow. Do you have a clue what happens now? Oceans rise, empires fall. Yes, you gotta win. It's all your call. All alone, cross the sea. When your people say they hate you, don't come crawling back to me. Da 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 da. Da 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 You're on your own. Theodosia, what to say to you? You have my eyes, you have your mother's name. When you came into the world, you cried and you broke my heart. I'm dedicating every day to you. Domestic life was never quite my style when you smiled. You knocked me out of fall apart, and I thought I was so smart. When you come of age with our young nation, you may invite for you, you make it right for you, and you lay a strong enough foundation. You raise it all to you, you leave the world to you, and you blow us all away. Someday, someday. Blow us all away someday, someday. Stop. 
told counsel, Hamilton, sit down. Ryan Levin Weeks is innocent. Call your first witness. That's all you had to say. Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Soon that attitude may be your doom. Why do you write like you're running out of time? Write day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Keep on running in the meantime. Non stop. Non-stop. Hamilton at the Constitutional Convention. There is a New York junior delegate. All goes and proposes his own form of government. His own plan for a new form of government. Talks for six hours. The committee is listless. But young man, yo, who the F is this? Why do you always say what you believe? Why do you always say what you believe? Every proclamation guarantees free ammunition for your enemies. Why do you write like it's going out of style? Why do you night like it's going out of style? Why do you write every day like it's going out of style? Do what you do. Alexander. Well, it's the middle of the night. There's a clinical matter. What do you need? Okay. Who's your client? No. No way. No one will read it. And if it fails... The Constitution's a mess. It's full of contradictions. No, no way. Good night. What? Of course. And what if you're backing the wrong horse? I'll keep all my plans close to my chest. I'll keep in and say which way the wind will blow. I'm taking my time watching the afterbirth of a nation, watching the tension grow. I am sailing off to London. I'm accompanied by someone who always pays. I have found a wealthy husband who will keep me in comfort for all my days. He is not a lot of fun, but there's no one who can match you. Return of praise, my Alexander. Don't forget to run. Think of where we are. Think of where we started. The fact that you're alive is a miracle. To stay alive will be enough. And if Alexander joined forces with James Madison and John Jay to write a series of essays defending the United States Constitution entitled The Federalist Papers. The plan was to write a total of 25 essays. The work divided evenly among the three men. In the end, they wrote 85 essays. A span of six months. John Jay got sick after writing food. James Madison wrote 29. Hamilton wrote the other 51. How do you write like you're running out of time? Day, day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Are you running out of time? Are you running out of time? How do you write like the model on a ride? How do you write like you need to survive? How do you write every second you're alive? Every second you're alive. Second you're alive. They're asking me to lead. I'm doing the best I can to lead the people what I need. I'm asking you to be my right hand man. You need a lot to ask. And then the way that know. Treasury. Alexander. Alexander. Help 
Just you wait, Alexander Hamilton, Hamilton, just you wait.